Ernie Racing News, guys. January 28th, 2023. The anniversary of the Freedom Convoy. And I'm going to tell you, the narrative is falling. There is a switch in the trends. Mainstream media is starting to do stories on protesters following Trudeau around. Specifically, the one in Hamilton was made the CTV News. Hamilton, where protesters camped out from the hotel, the Prime Minister, his cabinet, and entire staff were staying at for several evenings this week. They even surrounded the restaurant the Prime Minister was dining at last night. As he left, it appeared the protesters... All of this is just following the recent poll numbers less than a week ago. Maybe it was on the 24th, 25th of January. The poll numbers show conservatives up, liberals down. Out of the respective margin of error, like 8% difference. And so that changes everything. So now the liberals have to think, well, how are we going to win the next election? We need to get somebody to replace Trudeau. He's just one man in our group. Anyways, um, here, and Costco, and then I go in Costco and see what happens in Costco. I have that. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't use it enough. Awesome. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. Wow, what a difference getting rid of this stupid plastic, huh? No kidding. Holy crap. When did that happen? Sometimes. Oh yeah, you yeah. know why? The narrative's changing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now the liberals are going way down in the polls, and the conservatives are going up. And now the media is slowly turning on Trudeau. You can see, like, the paid media actually is doing stories about the protesters outside. Oh, yeah. They're following them around, right? Yeah. They went on their little retreat, and they're everywhere now. Yeah. Good. So, anyways, it's good to see you guys. Uh, yeah, you too. <laughs> not blocked through some blurry glass. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so there you have it at Costco in Kelowna, BC. Those plastic barriers were up for so long after the fact. And it is just too ironic that they came down and how I see the whole narrative is flipping. It was just less than a week ago that there was poll numbers that showed the conservatives just going up, like, you know, at a good... 70 degree angle and the liberals going down at a 70 degree angle and as and then the next day I'm seeing news from CTV reporting protesters following Trudeau around you know showing everyone yelling at Trudeau when those the liberals were having their three-day retreat these days, wherever the Prime Minister goes, there's often a contingent of so-called Freedom Convoy protesters there to greet him. And that was no exception at this week's cabinet retreat here in Hamilton, where protesters camped out from the hotel, the Prime Minister, his cabinet, guys, and entire staff I mean, were staying CTV at. The protesters at swarmed him, forcing his security kind of detail to usher him into the, the safety of the hotel. Now, Hamilton police say that there were about 100 protesters that uh, descended on the downtown last night, launching fireworks at the hotel behind me, honking horns and waving flags. But despite all that, there were no arrests made and no tickets issued. Now, the prime minister this morning took the opportunity to respond to the protests and the protesters, calling them a handful of angry people that do not represent democracy in this country. It's really, really important in our democracy. Let me pause them right there. I did a video on this yesterday on a speech on the same section. See, isn't it weird now to see one of the mainstream medias, CTV, and I'm sure all the other ones are actually getting on this, except for CBC, which is completely owned and state-run propaganda media. Now, all the other media stations were being paid. There was there was tons of grant money and huge amount of payment money going to all of the mainstream media to, cur to control them. And their bosses were like, you're going to report on what I tell you to report on. And you're going to do these smear stories because uh, that's how we get paid. And it's just a job and we're paid and I want to make money, you want to make money. And around the circle goes for these little jerks. And so anyways, it's so weird to see this on CTV. So this is the sign that the narrative is crumbling for Trudeau in, partic in particular. Not necessarily the liberal and all the narrative of the globalism and the banks and the digital currency and the passports and the control. But if the poll numbers showing Trudeau is failing then 
the liberals will have to replace Trudeau with a new person because they the it's always about the group, not the individual. Trudeau is just one more puppet they can replace and put a new one in. The people can express their disagreement or displeasure or even anger uh, with uh, various governments. That's really important. Uh, and at the same time, our uh, police services and institutions will ensure uh, that those uh, those protests remain uh, peaceful and law-abiding. That's something that really matters and will always uh, ensure that people are free to express their perspective. Oh, so hard to listen to that Trudeau man just lying through his teeth. What a clown. What a clown. Just like in the other video. He looks like a clown. And, and you know, there's a whole crowd of people following, Lib following Trudeau. The protest is just following him full on right now and it's so interesting to see CTV do a report on it. And then I see the Costco barriers are down. Um, everything is just flipping based on the poll. It's just, it's that simple. So the liberals are probably gonna start trumping a new leader soon enough because they know Trudeau's on his way out now. This is the downfall, guys. The flip happened in this last week. This is Ernie Racing News. Today's like January 27th, 28th, 2023. Cheers.